Okay, well, I would like to uh, introduce what I call the four trances. We've talked about the four gremlins. Well, this is a variation on that. But it's, it's part of what we're working with. See, it's one thing to notice we can start, we can create a uh, beachhead just with every single coaching session. It's a very powerful beachhead. And you get the experience of going into flow states. A flow state is what you were doing yesterday when you suddenly got wonderful, joyful ideas of how you could make it work. That's a flow state. The visions start coming, and they're moving visions. And with it come positive emotions. Now, what stops us? I mentioned the four gremlins. And the four gremlins connect to what I call four trances. Now these trances, uh, you all know, they're standard in the lives of a lot of people. Uh, you learn them as kids. One trance, a big one, is what we call the trance of no relationship. Now, it's an either or trance. That's when, why we say no relationship. And you notice it absolutely when you're a teenager and your friends are going to a party on Saturday night and you're not. Even earlier, if you're not invited to a birthday party. Do you all know the trance of no relationship? People who are in a relationship, and I'm talking about a, a partnership, they compare themselves to others who have better partners. And then they say, oh no, I wish I had a partner like that. <laughs> Do you understand? It's a trance of no relationship. And it keeps people miserable. It, it, and what's more, at a certain point, some people get so cynical, they have, go through some kind of a separation or divorce, and they say, never again. And they go off and live sad lives in their little apartments. <laughs> and they. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, many, many more North Americans are living alone. And I, they may not consider it sad lives for a while, but after a while they have more heart disease, more lots of things, because in fact, there's not a particularly useful support and growth structure that they're part of. Do you, do you understand? Okay, that's a trance of no relationship. Now another trance we call the trance of no creativity. I don't think many people uh, have this as a big one in the room. Some of you may. But it comes up when people say, there are those who have talents, and I am not one of them. Or there are those that have specific talents. Lucky them. Wish I was one of them who thought of creating this kind of, you know, internet program or da 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 and making all those millions. They just compare themselves. Comparisons are one of the most debilitating ways we have to destroy our own experience of mission and vision and purpose. Because, you know, um, Every kid starting to play the piano, somebody points out Mozart and says, look what he did. They go, oh, and here I am in grade two music, da 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 They compare themselves. Or they compare themselves with someone who's an, a pro at something. How many of you have gone and compared yourself to me? I've only been coaching for 20 years. <laughs> Takes a little. Aspiring is different. I want yeah. to be like you. Well, then you scale it. Aspiring is something you scale. Where am I now? What's the next step? How am I getting there? And aspiration moves us into developing skills. 